Well, back here at home, you're taking a live look over downtown Indy. A clear skies out there, uh, Lindsay, but the big thing that's been on everyone's mind is when are we going to get some rain? When is the drought going to be over? Yeah, well, I think your parents are hogging it all in Virginia right now, yeah, right? <laughs> they are. Yeah, I just yeah, I got off the phone with them. They're, they're at Virginia Beach right now, and they said it's just been raining nonstop it in the has. mid 60s. Yeah, we have that tropical system. And it did bring a significant amount of rainfall. We're talking very heavy flooding rains for parts of North Carolina, then across the East Coast. This area of low pressure has been slowly lifting off to the north and to the west. But what's happening? The outermost rain bands associated with that low pressure area coming in contact with very dry air that we've had in place across central Indiana. So basically, as this moisture starts to move in, basically just gets evaporated out to the uh, dry air and that kind of cuts into that. So we have seen some increased cloud cover across the far south and southeastern tier of the state and still not going to rule out the potential that we might squeeze out a stray shower in that zone. But look how dry this air is. Whenever dew points get into the 40s, when the air temperature is in the 80s, which is what we have right now, that's what we call a large dew point depression, and that means the dry air is going to be very hard to overcome. So while we've been watching our camera network and have noticed perhaps a few high thin clouds developing looking south, I'm still expecting dry air to win, so we're going to call it mainly sunny for the rest of your afternoon as temperatures continue that upward trend back to 84 by the 2 o'clock hour and eventually through this afternoon we approach 86. That will be the forecast high here in Indy. Average high at this point in the season is 78, so we continue that stretch of well above average temperatures. Most of us in the mid 80s for highs today. Wanted to talk about where we could see potentially that stray shower chance as we go through the next few hours. Again, notice where that cloud cover continues to increase, mainly south and east of Richmond and uh, places like Columbus. So again, a stray shower. Can't rule that out, but yeah, most of us stay completely dry. In fact, that's going to take us on through the evening tonight as we get you into the overnight as well. So that does mean our sky does stay clear. If you're headed out tonight, Indie Jazz Fest kicks off a stretch of musical days. This is going to continue all the way through, I believe, the 28th. Temperatures will be in the 80s dropping into the 70s and we've got a really cool spectacle that's going to go on in the sky tonight and with that mostly clear sky it's going to set us up for a good viewing as well. We've got the super moon and a partial lunar eclipse meaning we're going to see the the shade from the sun basically on the moon. It's going to give us that shadow effect. So it's going to be pretty cool tonight. If you can check it out, we're going to see the timing of this peaking around 1044 in that southeasternmost sky. Very cool sight to see tonight. If you can, I do anticipate that sky staying clear, which will also allow the temperature to drop off quite a bit. We're set to fall back to about 56 degrees as we get you into the overnight for places like Lafayette 61 in Indy. Bit of a cool start again to the day on Wednesday with a mix of sun and clouds does again look to stay mainly dry Wednesday afternoon. 85 your high. We're back to 88 Thursday and then approaching that 90 degree mark for Friday into the start of the weekend.